Lust can be a hard thing to overcome, and oftentimes we can be overwhelmed with our desire to fulfill the flesh. It's in our nature to sin, and no matter how hard we try to do what's right and to overcome temptation, eventually we just come back to the same sin. So you probably feel like a terrible person because you know you want to overcome these burdens, but it's so hard because nothing you do seems to work. I feel your pain, and I want to let you know that you're not alone. See, in the word, Lord Jesus said, He who without sin cast the first stone, so he knows the struggles you face on a day-to-day -day basis, including lust of the flesh. There's no easy way to overcome lust of the flesh, or any sin for that matter. But if you truly desire to be delivered from things that keep you bound and in a deep depression, then the first step is to make Lord Jesus your Lord and Savior. See, when he was being crucified for our sins, our heavenly father already knew that our flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. So he allowed the flesh of Lord Jesus to be disciplined for our transgressions and iniquities. And when they hung him on the cross, he bled for our salvation and he was risen on the third day conquering death. He said, whoever believes shall be forgiven for their sins and receive everlasting life. There is power in the name of Jesus. So by declaring that he's your Lord and savior, that grants you access to that power. That's the power you need to overcome not just lust and sexual sin, but anything that you may struggle with in life. See, in the word that say we're more than conquerors, that statement alone is enough to put fear in the enemy. That's why the devil uses these devices like social media, television, the internet, and many more devices to keep us distracted so we can lose focus from God. And the moment you lose focus, he catches you off guard with something that causes you to sin against God. So we have to be careful what we consume on these devices. So before I continue, I want to let you know one of the most powerful things God taught me about lust. He said, lust is when you desire something more than him. See, the idea of lust is when you desire something more than God. That's why the enemy pushes this idea of lust and temptation so hard through all these platforms. It's all a distraction because whenever we sin, by default we hide ourselves from God because that's what Adam and Eve did when they ate from the tree of knowledge. See, they hid themselves after obtaining the knowledge of good and evil because they were ashamed of their actions and how God knew they ate from the tree of knowledge was because they knew they were naked, therefore covering themselves from God. So it's important to come to God and confess your sins. Let it be known the problems you face so God can help you. Because no matter what the enemy say, or anybody for that matter, God will forgive you. See, the devil's primary goal is to isolate us from our Heavenly Father. That's why it's important to stay in the Word of God and pray without ceasing. Because this isn't a battle that can be won physically. It can only be done spiritually. The word tells us that we don't just fight against flesh and blood. We're fighting against spiritual wickedness and principalities in high places, rulers of the darkness in this world. So if you truly want to overcome lust, temptation, or anything that's not of God when it comes your way, then you must put on the full armor of God because the devil won't stop because you have a strong relationship with God. He actually gonna come after you even harder the closer you get to God. Therefore, if you truly desire to overcome anything in this world, you must put on the full armor of God. Your entire existence must be about our heavenly father the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. So let me give you an example of what it looks like when you put on the full armor of God, when you're under a spiritual attack from the enemy. In Matthew 4 verse 1 through 11, then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fast 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God, command these stones to be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and sitteth him on the pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. 
Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And he said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. See, when Jesus was tempted by the devil, he completely destroyed the devil with the word of God, until he left, because the devil can't contend with the word of God. So if you truly want the power to overcome lust and temptation or anything in this world that's not of God, you must dedicate your life to the word of God. Meaning don't just read it, but live it. Apply it to your life daily. The only way to be consistent is that you renew your mind daily. And you do this by fasting to get to know God better so that you grow in spirit. Because this is a spiritual war that can only be fought by spiritual means. Also keep in mind, even after you accept Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior, that doesn't mean that the devil will leave you alone, but it does mean you have power over the enemy. So I'ma leave you with this in Galatians 5 verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. This is the power to overcome lust and temptation. I pray this bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.